morning roadies welcome to day 21 of the road trip it is cooler today in Michigan they say it's gonna be a high of 79 so it's gonna be way better to sleep tonight than it was last night because still at midnight with the heat index it was 88 it's hot um, So I didn't vlog a lot yesterday because it was so hot. I mean, when I when we got back from taking my sister to school, when I got back, I my main concern was to try to get as cool as possible, you know. So I thought I was like, you know what? I really want something kind of light because I was hungry. So I had a bowl of cereal. Okay, 90 degree weather and milk won't do that no time soon. Again. I walked out of the house to pick my sister up from school and return my rental car, and I just felt ill. Like it was, it wasn't good. It wasn't good at all, roadies. So won't be doing that no time soon. I had quite a bit of watermelon yesterday, and um, I had a pork chop for dinner. It's actually like a pork chop and like a red sauce. Uh, it's hard to explain, but that's what I had. Um, so that wasn't too bad. I uh, weighed in this morning and I will show you that result right now. This is my weight today, June 1st, 2011. So I was totally happy with the results. Like 3.1 pound, 3 .1 pounds in three weeks that's a pound a week that's pretty good especially when I definitely indulged quite a bit in some not healthiest options but like I feel so on track it's not even it's not even funny like I just feel like I like a light went off you know like people say like people say all, all you know my mom we were just talking about a few days ago you know that until you're ready, everybody in America can tell you what you should do, what you need to do. But until you wake up one day, you're like, you know what? Today's the day. That's the day that really matters. So yesterday was, that was my day. It was like, you know, a light bulb had went off and it was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm sick of half-assing this. It's time to get back in business. It's time to start doing business again. So... This is something else we talked about my mom yesterday. You know, some people refer to a cheat day, a day of indulgence. I am going to change it all the way around. I'm not going to call it a cheat day. I'm not going to call it, call it a day of indulgence. I'm going to call it a treat day. Where I would treat myself to something, you know, that may, that, you know, not the healthiest option. So... And I'm going to have this treat day every time I reach a new city. Every time on my road trip I reach a new city. Which reminds me, you know, I'm getting new subscribers and they probably have no idea why I call you guys roadies. So I will make another video. I'll try to do it today so I can, um, so I can upload it and, you know, I'll make it my main video on my page. Um, explaining my road trip. So, my next city, as you guys all know, is South Bend, Indiana. I will have a treat day once I've reached South Bend, Indiana. That will be like my gift to myself. And then that kind of keeps me motivated to get to the next city. Um, I already know what my treat's going to be when I reach South Bend, Indiana. I'm not having my frozen yogurt that me and Lisa like to get at Macy's until I've reached my next city. So, that's a uh, added um, motivation to get there. So, yeah, that's, I'm going to call it my treat day. And I'm not going to make it a day of treats, should I say. It's just going to be the day where I pick something as a treat. You know, it's not going to be an all day because I've done that too. A cheat day and then have, you know, crappy breakfast, lunch, and dinner and feel totally sick by the end of the day. So, I'm not even going to call that. I'm going to do really good that day, just going to have an, a bonus, bonus treat. So, that's what I'm doing. I've already had about a cup and a half of watermelon today. I should have showed you guys. I'm sorry. But I was taking it out of the fridge and I started eating a few pieces. And before I knew it, I'd put it in the measuring cup and 
it was gone. <laughs> did a really good workout yesterday at the gym. I mean, I pushed myself and really did a good job. So that's that. I was really happy with myself yesterday. I'm going to try to do the same thing today. No, it's a lie. I am going to do the same thing today. I'm not going to try. I'm just going to do it. And then tonight, my sister gets off work at 7. And I told her I'd go back up there with her while she tans and does her little workout. I have 7.5 pounds to lose till my treat. I'm doing this, roadies. I, and you know what? I have to tell you guys, for the first time ever, I feel like I'm going to do this. Like, I feel like, I feel like this is the time. Because I, I can't tell you how many fad diets I've tried. I've tried it all. I've Every kind of diet is out there, I've tried it. Guaranteed. I've tried the um, the pills. Uh, I got hooked on the pills, like, mm, back in, like, 2001, 2002-ish. I was down to 203 pounds because I was hooked on these stupid uh, weight loss pills. And still to this day, roadies it messes, like, my heart is not the same. Because I think it's sped my heartbeat up so fast that to this day, you know, it's just not 100% back to the way it should be. But that's why I stopped taking them. Because, number one, the mood swings I would get would be god-awful. And secondly, it's just I, I realized, and you know what, and if the pills is the way you're doing it, hey, more power to you. It may be I was just like, you know, the the rare case but for me the pills wasn't the way to go and I honestly believe that I now get it like it's you know all about eating the right foods and you can even eat the bad foods the bad foods you know just in moderation and proportion you know and portion control of them and as long as you're exercising and doing something like I can't believe that my entire family goes to the gym every single day like that if you would have told me you know six months ago you know by june your family's going to be addicted to going to the gym i would laugh i'd be like you're crazy that's never happening but look at six months later and we actually do it like as a family you know like this is something that we do every day it's just part of the daily routine now get up Figure out what time we're going to the gym, and that's it. We just go to the gym. So it's crazy, and it's, it's awesome, too, you know? Like, this is going to be the first vacation we have next month that we're going to be able to, like, to really enjoy because walking is going to be a breeze. You know, it's going to be like nothing. So not, it's going to be hot as hell, but, you know, it's going to be way easier. So, so that's totally cool. But, roadies, I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Memorial Day being on Monday has totally messed me up this week day-wise, but today's my last day of school. I have a few tests to do today, and then I'm done, and I will start school again on June 23rd. I have two classes online again. Well, our roadies, this is going to be my lunch. I'm going to have one of these patties, spinach and feta cheese chicken patties, on one of these, um, like, mini thin buns. These are 180 calories. These are 100 calories. Total lunch, 280 calories. With, um, I'm going to refill that bottle right there. I had water today with it. Um, going to refill that. And then it's going to be lunch. Hola, roadies. It's 712. And uh, my allergies is just totally on overload today. I've been sneezing all day. My eyes are like crazy itchy, but whatever. Um, I had that chicken sandwich for lunch. We still have not made it to the gym yet today because we had some issues going on earlier. And then I had, today's my last day of my class, so I had, like, finals and stuff. So I had to do that. And I didn't want to wait till like, tonight. It's due by midnight. I didn't want to wait until, like, you know, 11 o'clock to start working on it and just be rushing. So they're done and over with. I got an A. That's good news. Um, but I haven't made it to the gym yet. I'm gonna go in a little bit. Um, my, uh, mom was picking up my sister from work, and then she said she was thinking about getting, like, a hot and ready for dinner. Well, I don't know, really. It ain't the fact that, you know, I just don't want the pizza, because, whatever, it's pizza, whatever. I just, I really just don't want a hot and ready. 
So, roadies, it ain't the fact that, you know, pizza's bad and I shouldn't have pizza because, uh, whatever, it's pizza. If I had a piece or two, it wouldn't be the end of the world. But, I don't know, I just really ain't feeling pizza, so... I think I'm just gonna have another one of them chicken sandwiches that I had for lunch. I'm gonna have it for dinner. That's what I think dinner's gonna be tonight. Plus, I looked up two pieces of Little Caesars Hot and Ready Pizza. 560 calories for two slices. It's crazy. You know, it's crazy to really to go back and look at calories of things that you used to eat. Like, without, because I would have never even thought of looking at calories for hardly anything when I, you know, before. Um, and it's crazy. Like, you know, no wonder, you know, so many people are overweight because. Uh, I would never even thought, two pieces of pizza, I'd been, I wouldn't even thought it'd been almost 600 calories, which is almost, you know, you know, your half of amount of daily, you know, recommended calories. It's crazy. It's crazy. And I was just talking with my mom a little bit ago, and we were talking about how, you know, even though we do have our mishaps, and, you know, we do, you know, go out to dinner every once in a while and eat something that is, you know, more in calories than, you know, one should probably have. Um, we've definitely come a long way because there was a point in time when we would eat fast food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then get a snack, you know, get something Dairy Queen or, you know, something like that in between. And now, and we used to do that, you know, like day after day. And now it's just like, you know, we might have. Like, if we have pizza today, well, you know, if she gets pizza today, it's like, okay, well, you know, well, I'm sure we're not going to have pizza for a while, you know, but whatever. Alright, Rodeo, so this is going to be my last video of the night. I really am not feeling that swift, so I'm going to eat something. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to come home, take a shower, and then I'm going to bed. Because I'm going to take some medicine, and that should knock me right out. Because it my, my whole head just isn't good today. But I hope you guys had a wonderful Wednesday. It's June 1st. 18 days. No, well, my birthday is the 19th, so do I count today? 18 days to my birthday. Right? Let's count. Let's count, roadies. Let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 days. Look at that. And I can count, too. Who knew? It's also Father's Day, which just... Total side note, the year I was born, it was Father's Day. I was born on Father's Day. I was my dad's Father's Day gift. Oh, something else, wait, real quick, I gotta tell you. Is when I looked at the calories, it told you if I wanted to burn those calories, what I'd have to do. Look at this. It says burning them calories it would be 155 minutes of walking 64 minutes of jogging 47 minutes of swimming or 85 minutes of cycling <laughs> what <laughs> oh roadies alright roadies that's it for me today hope you guys had a wonderful Wednesday I'll catch you guys tomorrow bye